that's like a fun time but it's like it is more plain than a lot of other he is like a trunks guy and his pose is like lifting up his arm so in that way <laughs> he is plain however his name is jumbo saruta so that kind of like that kind of carries a lot that, that does, does carry a lot for yeah. me yeah you know i know he's he's just not very he's not very colorful but yeah i need this, a little sizzle well you know here's a little sizzle for you it's from a new year's television show which I'm not sure exactly what it's called. The translation is Program Opposition Hidden Art Competition, which was a special New Year's program, kind of like a, like a talent show, I guess. Like you're showing your hidden talent. Mm -hmm. And All Japan in 1983 decided their hidden talent was performing a musical version of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Starring Jumbo Shruta, the ace of the promotion, as Snow White, with appearances by Giant Baba. There's a young Atsushi Onida who plays Prince Charming. So is like Giant Baba the <laughs> is Giant Baba the Shelley Duval of this? <laughs> is he is he like frequently presenting fairy tales? They really went for it with the makeup and stuff. They're all like Really? <laughs> they, that makes it harder to tell who they are. Yeah, compare this to like Firefly Funhouse. This is like but Jumbo way is really, more effort. You know, Jumbo just really dedicates himself to this role as he's skipping around this tree man. <laughs> His work rate in Fairy Tale. I don't know. It looks like the stuff they would do on variety shows, but you like. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Queen uh, just transformed into Giant Baba, and now she's ugly. I don't remember. I don't know how this. So, is. so the queen puts a. Okay. Oh no! Now she... there's Onita as Prince Charming. He's being attacked by. Oh, he's being forced to kiss Jumbo. Oh, they kissed, and Jumbo woke Jumbo right up. Everyone's celebrating, and it ends with a shot of giant baba in a sea of apples <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. but uh once again the all japan wrestlers are back trying to win the top prize and this year 1986 they're doing uh they do their version of super mario brothers oh i don't know about this one <laughs> Do you know the Twilight Zone episode where uh, somebody gets turned into a toy and they all the toys talk to each other and they realize that they, this is just some weird hell that they're in? Yes. Yeah, that is exactly what this looks like. Except they could climb out of the box. And yeah. I think the thing is that they couldn't climb. Is it? Okay, I thought one of those was an iron, but it was a car. There's, there's uh, Baba. You know, Baba... Very funny, giant so Baba. Hilarious. Got a Gulliver's Travels thing going on. <laughs> Where yeah. Giant Baba is a giant compared to the uh, toy-sized. Now they're all dancing. This is so much weirder and more elaborate than I expected, even after the Snow White. <laughs> and uh, meat. Is that just meat? There's Giant Baba who. When the, when we're in the close up, it just looks like he's cosplaying Thomas Jefferson, which it is or or he looks like an old librarian. Yes, that too. Uh -huh. Pretty great, I guess. I'm glad that they did that. I respect it. I feel like this, like the vibe I got from Baba compared to everybody else, made me think that it was his idea. The wrestling club with Darren and Brett. We've got a show that you'll never forget. Forget, forget, forget.